so problem 4.1 can be seen on the screen now uh, it's basically an LQR problem where the dynamics are just single integrator dynamics and what is also assumed to be given is the initial condition this is a finite horizon problem because uh, the t is fixed and finite here so let's write down first um, the optimization problem explicitly we are looking for the best possible input trajectory by u of dot i mean the whole trajectory from 0 to t so a function u from 0 to t you're looking for an input trajectory that minimizes this cost subject to these constraints so that is the complete optimization problem now uh, let's write down also the, the general LQR problem that we have seen in the lectures again we are looking for the best possible input trajectory that minimizes this cost subject to the dynamics of the system and the initial conditions so this is the LQR or linear quadratic regulator problem with a finite horizon cost now for this problem to be reasonable let's say there are some conditions on matrices q r and s q has to be positive semi definite s has to be positive semi definite and r has to be positive definite now if we compare problem so this one is problem 4.1 this is the general LQR problem if we compare these two problems we can try to write down Q R s a and b for our problem 4.1 so by comparing this term and this term we can see that q is just one by comparing this term and this term we can see that r is also one we have a scalar value u a scalar value x now there is no term which is punishing the final value uh, so s is zero then the dynamics by comparing the dynamics we see that a is zero and p is 1 now 
The solution to the LQR problem can be obtained by solving what is called as the Riccati differential equation. which is given by this equation and this boundary condition. Once we solve this Riccati equation, Riccati differential equation, we obtain a value of P. Then the optimal control input, which is what we are looking for after all, is given by this expression. And that's the solution to the LQR problem. Now let's apply this for our problem because we know the values of Q, R, S, A and B. So let's write down the Riccati differential equation for our problem. So we have minus P dot equal to a is 0 and that's for therefore these two terms are 0 b r b transpose all are 1 so we will have minus p square and q is 1 so plus 1 and we will have the final value on p to be 0 because s is 0 so now we have here a differential equation that we can solve so let's try to solve this equation now we have minus tp by dt equal to 1 minus p square we can separate the variables to write down 1 over p square minus 1 dp equal to dt. Now integrating both sides. We obtain this. Now some Side calculation you can write one over minus one as a over p plus one p over p minus one where we need to find the values of a and b a plus p times p plus And now equating the numerator we see that we want this term to be equal to 0 and this term to be equal to 1 so a has to be equal to minus p and p has to be equal to half minus a so once we have this so we can go back to our function and write down 1 over uh, sorry half minus half over p plus 1 <coughs> plus half over p minus 1 dp equal to integral dt plus c 
now we can integrate the left hand side to obtain half ln of p minus 1 minus ln of p plus 1 equal to t plus c that's just ln of p minus 1 over p plus 1 2 t plus 2 c raising both sides to the power of e we obtain p minus 1 over p plus 1 equal to e to the 2 t plus 2 c which we can write as some constant k multiplied by e to the 2 t now we will use this result if we know that a over b is equal to c over d then we have a plus b over a minus b equal to c plus t over c minus t and i think it's called componendo dividendo If we use this rule on our equation here, we obtain p minus 1 plus p plus 1, which is 2p over p minus 1 minus p minus 1 is minus 2 equal to k e raised to 2t plus 1, k e raised to 2t minus 1. Cancelling the 2s and then the minus sign on the right we obtain e raised to 2t over 1 minus k e raised to 2t <coughs> now we haven't yet used the boundary condition let's use that now to get the value of k the ph t should be equal to 1 plus k e raised to 2t minus k e raised to 2t should be equal to 0 And therefore, we have 1 plus k e raised to 2t should be 0. So k should be minus e raised to minus 2t. Putting this back in this equation, we obtain p of t equal to 1 minus e raised to 2t minus t over 1 plus e raised to 2 t minus t so we now have a complete solution to the Riccati differential equation the optimal control input as you already saw is then given by minus r inverse p transpose p times x of t p is also depending on t so we obtain minus r is 1 b is 1 so 2 t minus t divided by 1 plus e raised to 2 t minus t times x of t so this part can be thought of as a time varying gain so now the last part of the exercise requires us to plot uh, the value of the gain f of t this is what is done in this figure what I've done is I've chosen different values of the um, final time capital T of the cost and plotted the values of the gain for example for capital T equal to 10 you see this, this plot where well, you see that until about six or seven, uh, the, the gain 
remains constant close to minus 1 similarly for t equal to 30 which is this final uh, time the gain remains close to minus 1 until 26 or 27 and then starts changing and this fact will be uh, related later to the infinite horizon LQR problem where we will see that for um, the infinite horizon cost uh, the solution we will obtain will have a constant value of the gain f of t uh, so f, would, f of t would be just a constant so that's all for this exercise thanks a lot